What is up, Scar and I bringing you Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, I do believe is episode 24. I haven't been saying the last episode because I, or the episode before that, uh, rather or not. Because I, I felt like I was going to say the number wrong since I haven't played in a while. But this is, I believe, episode 24. And in this episode, or I should say uh, first what we did in the last episode. The last episode, we used the serenade of water to get over here. And we took care of the lakeside laboratory and also the most dreaded part in my game or uh, for me in this part of the game the fishing segment oh my god I hate the fishing segment and I have no idea I'm gonna edit that I really hope I didn't make another hour special but uh, in this episode we're gonna take care of what's considered to be the most dreaded part in most people's you know experience with this game and that is the water temple now how do you activate the water temple? Speaking of which, Navi's more likely going to talk about it. What do you have to say? Those iron boots look like they weigh a ton. If you wear those boots, you may be able to walk at the bottom of the lake. Wow, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But that is exactly what we have to do. Now, the thing is, it is the most difficult dungeon in the game. That's without question. That's a re There's a reason for that. It's also the most tedious. But K Porge Bora, or KG as I like to call him, did tell us when we were a kid that the water temple was down here. And you could kind of see it from like the lakeside over to see that this is gated. So you want to be able to do this before. But like I mentioned before, uh, after you beat the forest temple, you could choose either to tackle the fire temple or the water temple first. So as long as you get the iron boots and uh, whatnot and the hook shot, they'd be good to go. But uh, the hook shot's the only item you could use while uh, you're with the iron boots, and we're supposed to shoot that off because that is the lock that hinges the gate closed pretty much. I almost said the door, and this slowly rises up for what awaits us. Oh my gosh. Let's do the water temple. I thought it was gonna go up all the way, but oh well. Alright, we're here! The water temple! You guys are ready? Alright, we're gonna get a whole lot of this. Okay, so this is, we're on the second floor. Interesting. We're gonna get a whole lot of this. I cannot wait. Alright, first time taking off the boots. Awesome. So, in this temple, the gimmick is pretty much, you'll notice that the water's risen up. Oh jeez, I didn't mean to fall off there. And you'll notice some other targets and whatnot down here, and all this other stuff. Oh jeez. So, people might be thinking to themselves, okay, well there's a whole bunch of water and such like that. He's, oh my gosh. And all these other rooms. Which is cool. But the thing about these rooms is there's not much you can actually do. Like, you're, you're very limited on some stuff. I don't think I want to do this yet. But uh, I might as well show it off. But yeah, a whole bunch of Iron Boots things, which makes it a lot easier in the 3DS version to switch them in and out. And we notice that there's this block here. Which we have to push it from that side, so... Clearly, follow the green on the bottom. I usually don't do this in that order, but... Right here to get back up. I think there was a hookshot target. Yeah, it's much easier. Just... Oh, what? God dang it. Oh, whatever. Maybe I didn't target it right, because you are supposed to, like, hookshot, and it'll be easier just to climb out. Let me aim at the top. There we go. Yep. I don't like the tediousness of- I didn't even press start there. The tediousness of switching them in and out, but uh, it has to be done. And I do believe at this part, we can't exactly reach that I do believe. Which is what I was complaining about a couple episodes ago, that the hookshot wasn't reaching as much stuff as, I, as it could, and there's like the lock door and whatnot. So yeah, there's not much to do. We can't get there yet. And we see that uh, Navi's over there. I wonder if KG is there, but it, it wouldn't matter anyway. And I'll explain it a little bit. But uh, let's go sink ourselves 
into the depths of this place. And it also doesn't help if we uh, go sink to the other levels. Because I really wouldn't do much. Because that block up there, or I thought it was there. There's like a red block that we saw earlier. That floats up. And we see some missing spots. But this is where we're supposed to go. It's where these like unlit torches are. Don't know why unlit torches are in the water part of the place, but... Whoa! What? I haven't seen you in so long. Oh. You? If I'm right... Link? You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, the marriage thing. Uh, look, I didn't run or anything. I was trapped. It's not you, it's me. I, I can explain. Princess of the Zoras. Oh, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. I never forget the vows we made to each other seven years ago. Uh, look, I didn't say anything, though. I don't talk. I don't know what you're talking about. What vows? Uh, okay, me accepting the sapphire after you say that we have to get married. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I had to get the sapphire. You're a terrible man to have kept me waiting for these seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. I mean, we met in a whale, come on. I'm sure you've already seen it. Zora's Domain, totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. Hmm. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You. You have to help me. This is the request from me. The woman who is going to be your wife. Um, go, go on. Link, you have to help me destroy the evil monsters in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me quickly. Okay, I'm gonna go as quick as I can, but I do have these iron boots, so you just have to wait a little bit, okay? Don't rush too much. So just just hang on a sec. It does take a while, okay? Just, just don't go anywhere. Uh, it takes a while for me to float up, too. I'm not aquatic. Okay, I have to remember that. Oh, jeez. If you notice, there's like the little pattern right here. This is the Hyrule symbol, the Triforce. Those who wish to open the path sleeping at the bottom of the lake must play the song passed down by the royal family. So if you play the song, something certain will happen. And this is what is the gimmick of this water temple. The water rises up, and then it goes down lower, and it will take you to where you need to go. I don't know where the heck Ruto went though, is the thing. Oh, I need to break these up while they rocks. Oh, actually, I don't think I ever asked who they are. Spike. Aim for it when it retracts the spikes. It's pretty dramatic. Okay, so let's break these. I really don't know where Ruto went. I thought she went up straight. Did she like crawl inside the the bombable wall or something? Like this this room doesn't have anything else going for it, so I really don't know. So opening up this treasure chest, where are we gonna get? We got ourselves the dungeon map, which is cool. So uh at least we didn't get the the freaking the freaking freaking compass first, like in the last dungeon we were at. Either way, though, we got the dungeon map. I don't know where the heck she went though, but we do have to keep in mind because there's multiple layers to to what we could uh, drop down the water and how far up, and we can't actually reach that bombable wall. So. Let's go. I mean, we could. Uh, 
I probably could trick it out, but I'm not really sure. And then there's this part right here. Now all the torches, especially in the entrance, are lit now. I still don't know why they would have torches for like the rest of the thing. Okay, let's see if this will count. That counted? Are you serious? I, I, I didn't hit any of those. What? Okay, well that counted. It's a I thought the other one was gonna not be on fire anymore, but that's good. These have arrows just in case you don't have any more, so there's that. Alright, are you an Iruto? Obviously you're not, but uh, we do have these shell blade enemies. Shell blade, its internal muscle is its weak point. Okay, these are annoying enemies too because they only open their mouth for a split second. I recommended either arrows or uh, or the hook shot as soon as it opens and then it'll be instant kill because sometimes when you I think when you stab it it takes two hits I do believe so it, it'll be a while let me just test that theory I'm pretty sure it's two hits okay well it's, it, I, I guess that makes sense that I did like a vertical slice and that didn't count because like the shell and all but Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna shoot shoot it with the bow. I don't wanna fight this enemy. They're the most annoying enemy. Well maybe not the most annoying enemy. That that prize goes to Ice Keys, but they're they're up there. Definitely up there. Oh, I guess it just it, it is one hit. I don't know. It's just easier with the bow and arrow or hook shot. Alright, it's a tiny chest. Yeah, just like the forest temple, there's a lot of keys to go by here. Now, I wanted to make it difficult for myself and not practice this. Because I know that I said in the forest temple and in the fire temple that uh, if I use Forest Wind and whatnot, I probably should have used it on that other room. Oh god! Oh shoot. Um, but I wanted to keep it fresh uh, for me to do this without practicing, so I don't really know what's the best point to use for Roar's win at the moment. I'll probably put it in editing on where exactly the best place to go to, but I think a good place to use the for Roar's win is uh, where the first symbol is at. Because that way, if I do go there, I could go back to that bombable wall and then no problem right so let's go sing down here with that bombable little uh floor thing oh god i shouldn't even bother with these i'm just gonna float back up because on the other side there is an opening so i'm not gonna fight that shell blade i'm not gonna fight every little shell blade i see because they're really annoying so on to the other side and we go to the switch. But yeah, along with the uh, raising the waters or whatnot, it also does that to those dragons up there with the target, if you notice. Especially the one in the entranceway, so yeah, let's go over here. So yeah, no practice whatsoever with this. I just thought it would be funny if I did that, being the most difficult dungeon in the game and all. This is a bit hard to get if I remember. Like, I wouldn't blame anybody for not knowing how to do this. But the way to do this is because this thing, as you could see, like it kind of glitches through. You wouldn't think that would be actually something that you'll be able to do, but this is something what you're supposed to do. There's no actual other switch to hit on. So you would actually have to slice through this thing to make it work. So do a power slice. And then boom, it would work. I mean, you could make the excuse of saying it's magic, but that's pretty, like, you know. I, I've seen a couple of Zelda hacks use that to their advantage. Like, they would put two cylinder blocks or, or whatever they're called, two stone pillars, and you would have to slice through it and such. But I wouldn't think that the game developers would do that. Either way, we got another Gold School Tula there. I think there are four in this dungeon. I, that's from the top of my head. I don't know that for a fact, but we got 53. Let's keep it on this screen since I'm at a, 
eventually put the iron boots back on. Alright, here we go. And let's go back down just to ignore the shell blade. Alright, so that's one of the floors. I just have to keep note on where I do things. Uh, do these things. No, 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 I keep... I don't, I'm not even pressing it again. Like, that's the thing. I don't know, maybe I'm pressing it too quick or something? I don't... I'm not even pressing it more than once. Maybe I'm holding on to it too long or something. I don't really know. Uh, so... Okay, that's side one and two. Uh, I'll go in that door in a little bit. Okay, I don't remember this at all, though. So yeah, these things I was standing on that I was trying to point out before. These things float whenever the water rises and such. Uh, I shouldn't blow it. I'll bother with them later, because I don't think I will push this all the way through. I really don't remember where this takes me. But I do remember when I was a kid, I didn't have much problems with the water temple, which is funny, because... Uh, I got stuck in the forest temple, which is stupid, but that's the truth. And I had neighbors uh, that also played Legend of Zelda, which we th we actually started our friendship because of it. It was like these two twin girls that was uh, in my school at the time, and it was really cool. Just uh, it, it's it's really cool. How, like, it sounds corny, but like how gaming put us together, where we had something in common. It was Legend of Zelda. And uh, they got stuck in the water temple, and I figured it out for them because they we use each other as like advice for these Legend of Zelda games because it is my favorite series. And I helped them out in the water temple because I'm all like, I just you know played the water temple, and that's it. And they're like, yeah, but how do you do it? And then, like, once I did it for them, I'm like, oh, have you done this and this? And, yeah, it was pretty cool. So there's this room. I like how there's, like, a whole bunch of water sea dragons. Remember, this is, like, a temple of, like, like, religion when it comes to the Triforce and such. So, I do believe this belonged to the Zoras. So whatever this dragon is like representing what the water temple is, is it is pretty interesting oh wait I didn't do this right did I I think for this I have to hurry up and latch onto that but it's better to stand on there is the thing and it's a bit tricky because there is a water current but yeah I really do like this temple only for the fact of just that memory alone of like helping out somebody uh, with this temple because it's one of the few times I was as like a let's player before I was a let's player uh, doing this temple, you know. You know, another time I remember uh, helping out a friend while he's playing Pokemon Gold. And I was surprised of how much I remember in that game. Because I'm all like, oh yeah, that trainer has a Mareep and a Wooper. And it's like, he battled them and it's exactly that. It's just crazy. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that's timed. Alright, well... <laughs> I'm just busy talking and stuff. Oh, I still have my iron boots. I forgot. I was going to switch back on and on again. On and off again, I should say. But yeah, he battled the trainer and he had the exact Pokemon that I named. And he was like, wow, dude. Like, that's crazy. And uh, he went to another trainer. I'm like, oh yeah, that one has this and this. Um, and I think this part I was supposed to get out or something? Yeah, yeah, okay. For a second I'm all like, uh, unless I have to kill them, but no. But yeah, it's something that I always, a part of me, I don't know, uh, playing games and enjoying myself. So now we got two keys on this. In this temple there's a lot of keys, which is why I brought up the forest temple thing to begin with. But then I got into a tangent on other things. But we have to hurry uh, the camera's really weird right now. I'm trying to like look straight and it's like looking up Link's skirt. I don't know why. So yeah. But yeah, this is the reason why we're on this side is to uh, get the key. There's so many keys in this temple, which is why it makes it confusing. Because once you uh, try to figure something out, next thing you know you ran out of keys. And that's the biggest problem. Uh, that most people have with this because they can't find one or another you know 
Because then eventually you start running with sheets. And then you start forgetting uh, some stuff or whatnot. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Aw, oh, I was going to whip out my hookshot and get on this. Because it has it on this side just for quick, ac uh, quick access, but not on the other side. My voice is really shot right now, if you can't tell. Anyway, we're going to put on our iron boots, laddie. Our iron boots. You know what I'm saying, laddie. We're going to take these off. Do you know what I'm saying, laddie? Um, where is... Oh, 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 okay, the hookshot thing's right there. It's just like the other thing before. But yeah, Pokemon and Legend of Zelda, those are the two games that I'm pretty sure everybody would agree is is uh, is what I am. I mean, people think I'm just strictly PokeTuber. That's not true. You guys know I do other games, too. I just so happen to do a lot of Pokemon, because it's just a lot of fun to talk about. But Legend of Zelda is my favorite series. Pokemon's my favorite hobby. And uh, Mario has got me started with games in general. I've already been through that. And the other thing... I, have I been here? I might have. I think... Have I been through here? I have to remember these things. Actually, let me just check the map. The map will help me out. The map will not help me out. Where am I? <laughs> there is something on floor one that I haven't gotten. But I think... I think because of that... I'm not talking about the above portion. I'm talking about that left portion. But I think because uh, looking at the other ones... It's something that I just dive back down and... Yeah, see? Dive back down and back in. Alright, let's just see... Oh no, I haven't been here, because I don't remember these spikes ever being here. Uh, I do have the hookshot somewhere, I just don't know where. Unless, unless, hang on, let's go over here. Unless this is one of those rooms where I have to raise the water level, but I don't think that's the case. Because you could get on here, and I'm pretty sure you could hookshot over. Cause he could hookshot over back. There's a key on that one. I can't reach that. So I guess I have to come back over here later. Interesting. Okay, I'll remember this one. Except I won't remember how to get here, but I will. Definitely not a room to raise the water level because you can't really use the door keys underwater as far as I know. I mean, I never tried, for one. I'm not an escape artist, you know. Uh, that's three out of the four. Have I been here yet? I think I have. Yeah, I have. Because I remember standing in here, unless I got it mixed up with that one. Um, let me check the map one more time. Yeah, it would help if I got the compass, but I'm pretty sure I'm at the bottom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, because the, the rocks are already here. Anyway, we, we'll take care of those stuff later. This is what makes it confusing, too. So, we're going to go through here. It's a very important room. This is what got my friend stuck, and it might got uh, you guys stuck, too. I, I kind of joked about this with the... Uh, when I was playing Mappy a couple months back. But uh, if you go up here, this symbol is actually what gets the second floor uh, ready. So just be sure to do that. Play the Zelda Zullaby. And uh, you know, there's like the top layer of the water and we drowned all that. And this is like midway through. And like I mentioned, the block raises up and down. And that's what I was talking about. And keep that in mind, it raises up or down. So since the block rose up, people would think, okay, there's nothing down there but spikes. But that's the that's the issue. You didn't check to absolutely be sure that there's spikes down there. I didn't press start again. I promise you I didn't. Okay, either way. So, this is the problem right here. You, you walked across, you don't know what's down there, but there is something down there. 
there's spikes and then there's like a whole bottom portion to this this spot right here is more likely why you're stuck in the water temple and if not then it's probably some other thing that you have to backtrack on so go over here and what you do I do believe is uh, once you hit that recommended that you back up for this because Navi kind of hinted you on something there's gonna be a whole bunch of things dropping down a whole bunch of enemies so recommended that you just kill all of them because these are spikes even though they're rocks I recommended that you kill them before they spike out like hedgehogs or something I, okay the hitbox the hitbox oh my god the, the shell blades even when I'm not hitting them are annoying are you not gonna thrust forward? Well, he just opened his mouth and closed. Okay. Well, let's go for you. And it's offering us arrows, even though we can't really. Oh, you you got lucky with the crystal. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. Oh my God, shell blade. I would say this is number two on like the most annoying enemies for a period of time. Alright, so there's this other side. I didn't even notice the little cage store until just now, but go up here. And this treasure box. This treasure box right here contains a key. So that's why you got stuck you go to a certain room you go oh I got a key for that room oh I got a key for this door too and then you realize you ran out of keys this is the reason why you didn't check underneath the block and another thing I want to go return back to where that bombable floor is which is something I could have used for Ors win so Ugh, I wish I was <laughs> I wish I went there for it but Let's go back up here. Very important that you got that key. Because you'll definitely run out of keys soon. There's a lot, a lot of keys in this one place. A lot, a lot of keys. That's how many keys there are. I can't use that door anymore, so I have to go in from the other side. Alright. But we do have to, like, go over here now. Unless I could hook shot up there. Because there are other places. Oh, well. There's that. I can't reach that, though. Oh, that's dumb. That's fine, either way. I didn't want to go there anyway. I want to go back down! You know what I'm saying? What's the torches? I need to find the torches, because that's not, not that torch. But the other torches that uh, led to Ruto... And this thing is freaking hard, dude. Like, okay. I, I still don't think that the hookshot reaches long enough, but... That... Oh my gosh. We can't do this yet. I'm pretty sure there's like a cheating way of doing it, but... This gate opens, and you have to hookshot across. But the thing is, it closes, and you can't even reach it. So you get close enough, and it closes already. So... Yeah. Oh, I see the torches over there. Okay, let's go down here. I really would like to just have that thing out the way. And take care of this room first. So let's just go do that. Oh my god, it's Ruto! Okay, no, she's not here anymore. Alright, let's go check what's over here then. Yeah. All right, let's go use a bomb for this thingy. I went all the way around, but that's okay. I want to check what's in here. I want to be a cowboy, baby. Da 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 cowboy, baby. It's another freaking key that you probably forgotten. All right, I'll come down. So yeah. Uh, again with the backtracking thing that's another thing I'm talking about 
If it wasn't the other key that you checked under because you've been a good boy or slash girl or whatever, uh, it might have been that key right there. A lot of freaking keys. Even though I had like four or something in the four simple, I'm pretty sure this place has a lot more keys than that. So yeah, I still have to remove, uh, uh, return to the room that has spikes, so I just have to be sure of that. You know what I mean, oh god, Tech Tight. You could, could, I know Tech Tights could stand on water, but I don't think they could swim. Yeah, there he is. Um, if you want to go back over there, you just uh, light the thing on there, and then there you go. There's a key for that one, or it needs a key. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, I could be wrong here, but this is the entrance, no? Or am I wrong? I don't remember. Oh, no, 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 it's not. Sometimes I get the entrance mixed up, but I think that was the top layer. Yeah, yeah, it was. Never mind. I'm just being dumb. Let's go over here, hookshot over. And uh, as you notice, the treasure chest is being caught by that pressurized water. So it is timed. So I recommend you go to a certain distance, be far enough, shoot it, and or or you can shoot it with the arrow. But uh, you save arrows by just shooting it with the hook shot. I thought I wasn't gonna reach for a second. I'm all like, oh, it needs to be extended. But just immediately get that, go to the treasure chest, open it up to get your da -da 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 compass. You got yourself a compass along with the dungeon map. So now you can see the locations of many hidden things in the dungeon. So I kind of want to see how many treasure chests that we didn't get. Uh, there's the boss on there. We're on the third floor. Oh, I guess we did go up. We're in that little block in the top right. Treasure chest right there. I think I know what that is. I don't know what that is on the bottom right. Three, four. There's only four more chests. Are you serious? Huh. Interesting. Okay. So uh, let's go back down with the spikes. Oh, I saw that last second. Let's go backflip for style points. Yeah. Okay. I thought I was going to hit the spikes anyway. That's okay. I, I, these spikes aren't really threatening because they're very easy to avoid, so I don't really know. Take that, spikes! You okay there? <laughs> if he's trying to like jump off and swim, he's not doing a good job. I mean, the physics are interesting, just to think about. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to go through here. Because we already seen that the hookshot can not reach up there. Not that it matters because we can't really do much even if we got up there. So hopefully I got everything that I need. I think there's a tech type up there as soon as you go there. It's kind of a trick. I knew you were coming in here. That's cool. So get on the pressurized water and shoot the crystal. I keep thinking it's not going to reach it, man. I need, to, I need to have more faith for my hook shot. I'm never going to replace this thing. I don't know why like, like, I even brought up that thing. Uh, let's go through here. And we made it to this part where we can reach the top floor of the thing. Because it'll be the same thing. Those who wish upon the gate on the far heights play the song passed down by the royal family. I don't think I read the second one, but, you know... It's cool nonetheless. It's cool nonetheless. I think the f the issue in the first place, once we entered the water temple, was that, that one of the doors were locked and we didn't have a key at that point and we couldn't really do much. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to cut you. Oh, no! You know, I do kind of like the tech tights. Uh, the tech tights, because, like, they're they're uh, striders like I never actually sat down and thought about whether I liked it or not but I, I, I think I do I think I do actually like the tech type oh, gosh. it's just an interesting choice for a water enemy as long as it wasn't like too generic like it's like water keys or something then I'd be like alright 
Um, so that's where, if you look on the map, that's where the boss is at, but we don't have a boss key quite yet. I, we can't really do this, I think, yet, because even though we have a key, I think the issue is now, and I'm pretty sure about this, is that, uh, wait, hang on, what was that freaking room? I think we have to do everything over again. Wait. Did we have a key at that room with the spikes? Was that the... Oh, I don't remember. It was by the water puddle. Okay, let's go back down. I think we have to go flood everything again. And that's one of the reasons why I should have put Furore's Wind again. But that's okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I should have put Furore's Wind on the freaking... Oh, so many opportunities. It's alright though. I'm just very stupid. Anyway, I have to recognize where the water puddle is. I think it's this one. Because, you know, considering that's where a puddle would go to. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have to flood the thing though. Well, let's just test out this thing now. Like, if it did. Uh. I, I know this isn't true, but. Oh no, you can still go in here. Oh, right, that was the issue. Oh. Right. Right. Okay. So. Uh, I'm just a little bit worried that I'm missing something. Something that I'm able to get. What was that room with the block? Uh. Because that room with the block is what is another thing that worries me. Because I pulled it, but I didn't really see anything to it as of yet. I didn't see it again from any other side, so I don't know. Unless that was the block that I saw earlier that pushed straight down. I, really, I wasn't really 100% sure, because it was just there on the doorway. I don't think I pushed any block towards the doorway, though. What about here? Oh no, I think that's the entrance to the temple. I did make it to the top floor. Oh, I'm just a bit worried. Second floor. And the bottom path. Okay, let's just be absolutely sure on something here. Unless that's the hookshot, uh, hookshot portion. If it is, then I might be fine, but I don't know. Is it that hookshot thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, let's just test it out. Let's just go to that room with the keys. Hopefully, two is enough. Because this is the one I'm worried about. I'm pretty sure you need more than two keys. Or maybe you do... Or, or maybe you do just need two keys. Hopefully, I'm safe by doing this. Because one of the rooms I'm just a bit worried about. I see two freaking keys right Slick and stuff. You're not slick. You're not slick at all. And then there's these things right over here. Alright. Uh. Let's go over here. I could swear there was like a gold skull tula out here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I don't think I can reach that. No, I can't. That's the second one, if anything. I don't think, yeah, I, I can't reach that. Shoot. That's okay. Oh, wait. I could technically just kill it, at least. And once, uh, I, if I do get close enough, I could just, like, try to target it and headshot it. Come on, Navi. You have to, you have to work with me, Navi. You're my only hope getting that thing. Come on. Come on, Navi. It just went back in my time. Yeah, I, I don't think I can reach that yet. Oh, with the freaking hook shot. I'm never gonna replace you, buddy. But you need, you need to work with me here. So the thing is, uh, we have to work our way up. This is a heck of an exercise if you really think about it. A lot of core strength. It's an exercise. Get down. Get down again. Go over here. You sure I can't reach this? Oh, 
God, I want to reach it. So, at this point, uh, you're missing a key, so, yeah. Hopefully there's no other keys I need for this part. I don't really remember. I remember this room. I like this room, and I like the choice of the crystal colors. Because it's red right now, but once uh, you shoot it with like a hookshot or arrow or whatever, it turns to like baby blue. It's like glacier almost. And like I mentioned before, the dragon's race is up or down depending on how you want it. So you just go towards the dragons, shoot them, and uh, you can always shoot the crystal back down if you want the water level lowered. So, uh, I don't really need the dragon right here since there's a target right here, so this is a good spot and a good hint to uh, shoot the crystal again. Because even if I was there, I would just land in the water, so there's really no point of me going there. That's part of the puzzle with these water dragons. And I like the fact that they're water dragons. Because if I go here and the dragon was up, I wouldn't be able to go there. But now he's uh, small enough to just hit him again, so... Just hit it again! Shoot this thing. Glacier blue! Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go over here back to the water dragon. I missed it. Oh! Don't miss again! Oh, I missed again. Oh, 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 oh. Tech type. Okay, okay. Shoot this. And this is the cool part. I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm gonna go with this. Shoot this. Put it back down. Stand on that thing. And then, like, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna ride a dragon. I feel like Goku. I don't think Goku rides that many dragons, actually. I mean, he ran on Snake Way, I'm just saying. But here we go. Please don't tell me there's no more log doors. Okay. Oh, that thing. Oh, I need bombs. Yeah. Yeah. Did that count just one hit? Oh, that was makes no sense. I think that counted as one hit. Oh, that's so dumb. I don't like going close quarters with. It's just not recommended. Never do close combat with the like like. It's just not smart. Uh. There we go. I thought I was gonna get hit there. And I think this is a very special room. Very very special room. If I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, this is going to be interesting, this is going to be very very interesting, so I'll save this for the next episode. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button, if you really like this episode, please consider subscribing, if you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like playing video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, in the next episode, we're gonna see what's behind this door. So, we might also finish the water temple, but I highly doubt that. This temple's pretty freaking large. Other than that, don't forget to vote, and White Tigers the Dragons see you, and you've been scarred by the night. I'm out! Thank <laughs> you.